Today's art lesson is how to draw yourself as a superhero. I thought it would be a really fun exercise to practice the principles of drawing people that we've done before and now put yourself in the shoes of being literally a superhero. So what makes a superhero? What makes you a superhero? We're going to be drawing a basic human form and then adding those details that you get to decide of what kind of superhero you would like to be. So go ahead and get out a paper, a pencil, and eraser and we're ready to get started. Today's exercise is really fun and I'm excited to practice this idea of making yourself into a superhero. Now the, the really cool thing about this idea is that really you're drawing a person and you're drawing your own body and so we're going to start out with the basics and after we get through the basic shapes then we will start to add a few details that will make your superhero or yourself as a superhero come to life. So we're going to start with a circle and this circle I'm going to draw in really lightly. Um, I'm going to erase some of it eventually. This is going to be where our head is. So go ahead and draw in your circle. Now from here I'm going to leave room a little bit of room for a neck and then I'm going to draw a very light line right here where the shoulders are going to be. They're going to be slightly wider than your head and again these are guidelines that I'm going to be erasing eventually. And, I, and just for reference, I'm going to draw some circles right here that are going to indicate where the shoulders go. And we'll be erasing those later, but that's going to help us as we draw our arms. So we have our circle for our head, a little bit of room here for the neck, a little line across. And from here, that shoulder point, I'm going to draw a little bit of a slightly slanted line in. This is going to be blocking in our torso. And Again, these are rough, rough shapes that we'll be refining later. And so that line isn't straight, straight down like a box. It's going to come in slightly at an angle. And then we're going to draw a really light oval where our pelvic area, our hip area is. And it's a wide oval, just about as wide as this area that you've indicated right here. Now, from here, we're going to draw the lines in for our legs and really lightly. We're going to draw some diagonal lines out. I thought it would be really fun for our superhero to have a superhero stance. So I'm going to just kind of block in where our feet are going to go, flat feet out here, and legs. And like I said, again, this is all very, very rough and light. I'm not looking for detail or perfection of you know, the figure at this point. We're just blocking in those shapes. All right, every superhero needs to have that confident stance, right, of hands on hips. And you can do, of course, whatever you'd like to do. But for this exercise, I'm going to draw two diagonal lines out, and this is going to be your upper arm. Your elbow is going to be right about here. And then you're going to draw a diagonal line in to go right in at your hips. I'm going to connect that a little bit more. Right in at your hips. And I'm already seeing things that I want to change, and that's okay because the, lights, the lines are very light. Here we're gonna, I'm gonna just block in some ovals for where the hands are gonna go, and that's gonna help me know where that will be when we get that in. Okay, we have blocked in our basic shapes for our body, so now, now let's go ahead and start filling in those details to make it look like us. Now I'm gonna do this exercise, and I'm gonna talk you through it so that you can draw yourself as a superhero. So go ahead and you're gonna to wanna to draw a really light line down the center of your circle. This is gonna be the middle of your face. And then you're gonna draw a very light curved line right in the center of the circle across. This is where the eyes will be. And from here, you're gonna draw the outline of your chin area and head. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of ovaling out the circle. I'm going to make it look more like our face. And here we're going to have the eyes. I'm going to use that line as a guide. And just below that, about halfway between here and here, I'm going to draw on the nose. And right above that bottom of the circle, I'm going to draw the mouth. Now I'm keeping this very, very simple. I'm going to go ahead and sharpen my pencil. I'm keeping this very simple. And you are welcome to make this as detailed as you like. But from here, we're gonna um, draw. We're gonna go ahead and draw on the rest of the body. So we've got our neck, 
And then we're gonna round out our shoulders. We had drawn a straight line for our shoulders. But like I said, I'm gonna erase this now so you can see. Like I said, we're just using this as a guide. And these lines that we drew for the arms are gonna act kind of like skeleton, you know, bones. I'm not, I'm drawing the outside of the arms with these lines in the middle. So it's as though those lines are kind of like bones and I can already see some mistakes that I'm making. Um, I've made the shoulders a little bit wide for this guy, but that's okay. Even, even artists make mistakes. To fix my mistake, I'm gonna erase my torso because I've realized that I made him a little too wide. And it's not about fat or skinny, it's about proportions and ratios. Those are big fancy words for keeping everything in proportion with each other. Um, but I'm drawing this for my head just like you are drawing it for me. So of course I'm gonna be making some mistakes. All right, so we've drawn in our body. Now um, let's go ahead and finish out the hands. We've, we've gotten to the arms. I've drawn these circles and now these, the hand is um, kind of making a fist with the fingers out. It's hard for me to do it in this position, um, top down, but this will be the outside of the hand like this. And then the outside of the fingers are gonna be resting on the hips. So I'm gonna kind of just draw the hand like this. The thumbs are gonna be on the opposite side. And we could even draw a little bit of a fist like that and do that. Okay, again, we're making this really simple. And I hope I'm making it simple for you too. I hope you're able to follow along. All right, let's go ahead and do the outside of the lines. Remember the legs. So remember, these are gonna act as the middle of our leg. It's going to be like the, the bones here. And so I'm gonna draw in these legs those quads and calves, just like this. And we're taking a really wide stance because we are superheroes. And then here is going to be the outside of the feet, which I'm not gonna actually block in very detailed because I don't know what shoes I want this superhero to be wearing. But let's go ahead and race out these lines. Oops. I hope this helps you get into where my head is because <laughs> It's important to pay attention to what you're drawing as you're drawing it. I know you guys are following along, but pay attention. And um, if you need to erase or if you need to fix it, just go right ahead and um, you, won't get, you won't get behind. All right, so I've drawn in my, my legs. All right, let's start thinking about um, some of the details of what makes this person, not just a person, but a superhero. So for my superhero, and you can do whatever you like, but for my superhero, I am going to draw a mask. And I'm gonna use that line that I drew, and on the top part, I'm gonna draw this kind of very slightly curved line like this, and then underneath, I'm gonna come up a little bit at the nose and then come around and make this mask. And of course, I'm gonna to need to have little holes, so I'll draw in little holes for this mask like that. And I don't know what kind of hair you have. I naturally have curly hair, although it's not as curly as it used to be. And this superhero is gonna have curly hair. So why don't you go ahead and draw in whatever kind of hair you have. Maybe you have straight hair, maybe you have long hair or short hair, curly hair. And I'm going to start erasing these guidelines that we've drawn in. So I'm gonna start thinking about the details of my superhero suit. What kind of superhero suit do you have? Is it a one-piece suit? Does it have armor? Does it have electronics or superpower capabilities in the suit itself? I want you to be thinking about all those things. And you can make yours unique, but I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do so that maybe you can get some ideas. All right, so my superhero suit, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple so that you can have the time to add the details you want. I'm gonna add just a little collar here and my superhero is gonna have a cape. So I'm gonna have a place where that cape is gonna 
tie and I think my cape will be blowing in the wind. So I'm going to draw this flowy line out like this and then this is going to be the, the edge of the cape so now the rest of it will be the bottom and I'm going to make that bottom cape portion just be flowing in the wind like this and here you have your your cape. Now how do we know this is a superhero? How do we know that um, my my guess is that maybe you want to have an initial on your superhero suit. So one way to do that is to draw the letter. My first name starts with an S. You're going to draw the letter and then you're going to make it slightly thicker on the outside. If you'd like, you don't have to. Slightly thicker on the outside and then slightly thicker on the inside. And that is one way to get a a bubble letter or a bold letter. Um, you could also do it just by drawing the outline and coloring it in later. Uh, but here the superhero has a nice bold stamp of who she is. Now my my superhero is going to have a a a, uni, a a a suit, a leotard suit, I guess. So here we have this, and she's going to have long sleeves, and we're going to give her tall boots. So those boots are going to go up to her knees. And I'm going to give her flat-footed boots like this. I'm going to draw a diagonal line down to where I know the toes are. And flat on the toes. Um, I would encourage you guys to color yours in with colored pencils. I'm, I'm not going to be coloring mine today. I'm going to be doing mine in pencil. Now from here, what other details would you want to add? Maybe you have wristbands that have buttons on them that can act as remote controls for maybe your robot dog. I don't know, whatever it is that you can think of. Maybe there's a special control right under, right above your boot, under your knee that is really hard to detect and nobody knows about. Maybe you have these really cool shoulder pads that can eject propellers on the when you press one of these buttons and you can fly. There are so many different um, options. I'm gonna color in my mask like this. And from here, I encourage you to keep adding those details, keep adding some designs, but I hope this has given you some ideas of how you can turn a human form into your own personal unique superhero. I'm so excited for you to get started and to make your own and to maybe even continue and make a whole series of superhero characters. Have so much fun.